we've begun a new year, and with that, we look forward to what 2016 will bring to the city of Murfreesboro. Today, we will highlight a number of items that you'll hear a lot about this year. First up is our capital improvement plan. For those that don't know what this is, the capital improvement plan, or CIP, is a capital improvements funding plan covering five years for major one-time physical projects such as buildings, roadways, or other large public infrastructure investments. The CIP is different from the city's annual budget. The annual budget represents recurring operating expenses and is adopted every year and is funded primarily by tax revenues. The CIP is more of a five-year plan for major one-time projects that will primarily be funded by bond issuance, other borrowing, or use of city reserves. The updated CIP was approved by the City Council in December, and we'd like to take a moment to highlight a few of the items planned for this year. Among the big items for the Police Department include the joint effort with the Murfreesboro Fire and Rescue Department for a public safety training facility, as well as the continued design and construction of the new police headquarters located on Highland Avenue. The Fire and Rescue Department is in need of purchasing a minimum 100-foot ladder truck to improve their ability to respond to taller buildings, both existing and under construction in the downtown and gateway areas. A plan is in place to move Station 4, currently on Jones Boulevard, to Medical Center Parkway. Both the new equipment and relocation of Station 4 are in response to our city's growth and new developments, which include the new judicial building and the fountains at Gateway. Projects for the Parks and Recreation Department include the ongoing Bradley Academy improvements, a new central maintenance facility, the city's partnership to build Miracle Field at McKnight Park, developing a park on the west side of the city, and improving neighborhood school parks. Rover, the city's transit system, looks to build new offices and a hub on West Main Street that will be a multi-funded project including federal monies. City schools will be adding more classrooms to Hobgood and Black Fox Elementary, and a new elementary school is in the works tentatively on the west side of Murfreesboro while monitoring growth on the north side as well. City TV has begun a process to go to high definition. While the HD upgrade on equipment is covered through a grant from Comcast, the rooms must be remodeled to accommodate the new setup. In addition, the City Council Chambers, which is adjacent to the City TV office, will also go through a modification including new seating and carpeting and painting the walls. Other projects include renovations to the Senior Citizen Center, replacing older solid waste vehicles and equipment, and various road improvements for Butler Drive, Bradyville Road, and Jones Boulevard. If you would like to see more of the Capital Improvement Plan, it's available on the city's website at www.murfreesboro.tn.gov. As you remember, last summer the city was approached by Middle Tennessee Electric to enter into talks to consider a potential sale and consolidation of Murfreesboro Electric Department with its cooperative. The city is still in the first phase of evaluating the potential deal points, and most recently, the city's five-member evaluation committee received three proposals in response to a request for qualifications from firms experienced in valuation services. The committee has interviewed and heard presentations from the top firms. At the December Council meeting, City Council approved GAI Consultants Incorporated to begin a study of the value of Murfreesboro Electric Department. GAI is a national engineering and consulting firm with more than 55 years of experience working with clients in the power generation and transmission industry. The valuation analysis is expected to take six weeks. The Murfreesboro Water and Sewer Department has begun the process of upgrading all the water meters throughout the city. The program is called AMI, or Advanced Meter Infrastructure. The new meters will allow for more accurate readings and may detect small leaks a lot quicker than the current process. This is an 18-month long project and all of the information on AMI is available on our website www.murfreesboro.tn.gov MWSD. We're very proud of the Fire and Rescue Department for their continuing efforts to protect our citizens. Murfreesboro Fire and Rescue Department recently participated in the 100 for 100 challenge held by the State Fire Marshal's Office. This mission was to install 100 smoke alarms in 100 homes. 
With help from volunteers of the American Red Cross, the challenge was not only met, but greatly exceeded. 195 smoke alarms were installed in one day. If you're a citizen and in need of a free smoke alarm, they're available through Murfreesboro Fire and Rescue Department's Project SAFE program. Call the main office at 615-893-1422. As 2015 drew to a close, we said goodbye to a couple of longtime employees that have been instrumental in the city's growth and development over the years. Susan McGannon retired as city attorney at the end of October. Ms. McGannon was with the city for 23 years, including 14 years in her role as a city attorney. Among her accomplishments include serving as the president of the Tennessee Municipal Attorneys Association and she helped found both the Lawyers Association for Women in Nashville and the Tennessee Lawyers Association for Women. We also said goodbye to Murfreesboro Police Department Chief Glenn Chrisman, who retired after 40 years of service in law enforcement. Chrisman joined the city in 1976, advancing through the ranks to become chief in 2003. Among his accomplishments and honors include winning the Joe Casey Award, the Middle Tennessee Chief of the Year Award, and the Tennessee Association of Chief of Police Presidents Award. Thank you to both for their long-standing service and dedication to make Murfreesboro the best it can be. It is an exciting time to be in Murfreesboro. In case you've missed any of the previous State of the City addresses, visit our YouTube channel by searching City of Murfreesboro. For the latest news on what's happening with the city, we're also on social media with Facebook and Twitter. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.